Jockey Jeopardy, bitch. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Gay Jeopardy. I see our contestants can't wait to be introduced, so let's bring them in. First, we have our resident Twitter gay, Jonathan. Hey, Alex. First of all, go off. Second of all, you are looking so chef's kiss today, girl boss. Can you please gatekeep me? It's the host in Gay Jeopardy for me, wig. Queen, 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 you're an icon. I love you. <laughs> that set the gay civil rights movement back by at least 10 years. Oh, thanks, sis. Love you. <laughs> it wasn't a compliment. Oh. Anyways. Next up, we have our favorite energetic theater kid, Nathan. I go in the bathroom by himself. You okay, Nathan? <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to make like Fozzie Bear and start moving right along to our next contestant, Mark. What? Where the fuck am I? Where am I? Where, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> You're on Gay Jeopardy, bitch. Smile. What? No, that can't be right. I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Oh, Ooh. all right. All right. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, it's time to get serious. Three queens stand before me. The time has come for you to jeopardy for your life. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. Now let's see today's categories. We have <clears throat> Lil Nas X tweets, queer icons, musical theater, disaster homosexuals, and as always, our final category, straight people. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, do you want to start us off? Okay, uh, let's do Lil Nas X tweets for 1,000. Lil Nas X promised to buy this for his followers. If Call Me By Your Name hit number one. Um, what is a 12-pack of Hanes socks? That is correct. How's it going, Mark? Honestly, I'm really lost, and I have no idea what's going on, and I'm scared. Nathan, you have the board now? Um, all right, let's go with... Musical theater for 600. Here's the answer. This singer made her Broadway debut in 13 the musical. Who is Ariana Grande? That's correct. Okay, thinking about Broadway right now is making me really emotional. So queer icons for 800, please. This singer was in the Nickelodeon show Victorious. Who is Ariana Grande? Yep. Yes. Uh, let's keep going with queer icons for 1,000. Looks like you got today's gaily double. Yes. Gaily? How much would you like to gauge her? Gauge her? <laughs> um, I'm going to gauge her 1,200, Alex. This singer was in the Nickelodeon show Victorious after making her Broadway debut in 13, the musical. Oh, Ariana, who is Ariana Grande? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer we're looking for was Elizabeth Gillies. Mm. Okay, that's it. I don't know what's going on here, but I need answers. Now, I mean, I don't even know how I got it. I just... Woke up next to two gay stereotypes and a homosexual host who keep gaslighting me into thinking I'm gay and barraging me with references to gay culture. It's almost like gay jeopardy is some weird way of forcibly assimilating people into queer culture, thereby effectively turning them gay. <laughs> you know too much. It's time to fabulously freeze. We're the gay police. What the fuck? Shut up, reader. Reader Ms. Miranda Lambert writes, You're under arrest for possessing too much knowledge of the homosexual agenda. You have the right to remain gagged. You have the right to a gay attorney. And most importantly, any look you slay can and will be held against you in a court of law. Wait, where are you taking me? 
Well, <laughs> it's time for us to end this episode and start torturing another heterosexual. Remember to be gay and do crime. Good night, folks.